So, um, we keep talking about uh, the importance for, for our people to stand up and fight for their rights. And uh, it seems as if uh, when a whole lot of us do speak online, most folks get upset. And uh, this vlog, I want us to talk about uh, another discovery of uh, bodies, man. Bodies were discovered, burnt beyond recognition uh, in another white Africans farm in South Africa. Uh, but before we do that, man, thank you for tuning in and welcome back once again to yet another episode, man. It is always a pleasure to have you stop by and check out what we have to say. And uh, I always like it when you guys engage me in the comment section because the whole essence for me dropping vlogs is so that we can exchange thought and then we can, you know, understand ourselves. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me say this. We are having a situation with our brothers and sisters in South Africa, which is, uh, I think the GNU has started handling it the way it was supposed to be handling it. And uh, there are certain things that you always ask yourself. Why is it that um, these things keep reoccurring, but then our African brothers and sisters do act like they do not occur? Now, Recently, there was a situation of, of, of a white farmer shooting and killing two black workers and uh, feeding their cops to his pigs. Now, that isn't even done yet, and uh, there is another discovery of bodies that were burnt beyond recognition in another farm in South Africa. Now, I don't want to talk much, but I want you to watch this video before I will give you my own take. Watch this video. Two bodies, believed to be those of Wanda Masangu and Tembe Nimguni, have been found. Police received information about the whereabouts and on arrival, two bodies that were banned beyond recognition were discovered. Mm, the deceased were reported missing last month. They are believed to have been assaulted and killed by farmer Reynold Stain and security guard Dumsani Masilela. Now, these two suspects appeared in court for bail application, which has now been postponed to next week. To be precise, to say how long it will take us, it will depend because what we have done, we have actually submitted everything to forensic and it's for them to definitely to um, have the results and we wish by all means that if we can have them as quick as possible, it will help us as it will strengthen our case. It's going to be a lot of work to be done, and uh, but I believe that it is possible because there's a lot of processes that are going to be performed so that we can be able really to link everything properly, especially to say these are the two people really who were banned in the open drum with uh, alleged with petrol. If definitely is those people, definitely, as I said from the beginning, it will assist us a lot. At the moment, I think we are going to rely to what we have, especially the arrest of the two uh, security guards, as well as the, the farmer at the stage. And uh, with the investigation, hence the matter is more is still sub judice We will actually allow the investigation to take its place, take its place. And uh, is, we hope without doubt that more information is still going to come forward because we think that this is not a, a, a first exercise that is taking place that what actually had happened in the farm we believe that more information we can get and be able to actually to um, have a better case before the court well ladies and gentlemen uh, welcome back and um, this is a very sad thing but this is the, the brutal re reality and uh, while our brothers in, in South Africa are fighting over petty things uh, these folks are killing and they are destroying and burning their bodies so that they cannot be held accountable for. Um, I get the feeling that uh, every farm in South Africa, if there's a forensic team that is sent to, to, to just check the properties, a whole lot of bodies will be recovered. I'm talking about skulls and bones and things like that. Uh, now, I bet you that these uh, black South Africans that were burnt beyond recognition and uh, it, is, it, is, it is still on the table this whole conversation of land expropriation and, uh, and you notice that majority of the land 
was given to you know the European settlers in South Africa who control some of the farms and uh, thereby giving them some kind of power monopoly over the land in that beautiful country now my question is this um our brothers and sisters are busy shouting online uh, deport this man go back home leave our country this and that and they will come out to manifest which by the way it is their right to do that we are not disagreeing with that uh, but uh, there is a debate if they they are actually targeting the right people or they will just gather every person but while they are doing that their brothers and sisters are being killed like 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 fowls like 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 animals in these people's farms now I want to ask a question to all of you from South Africa. Um, don't they have a police force that is supposed to be visiting these farms and checking these farms? Because uh, you cannot tell me that those bodies that were burnt, somebody did not report them missing. Because these are people that belong to families. This could be somebody's dad, brother, sister, or somebody's mother, sister, auntie. But see, they ended up there. Now, what is lacking? What is going to stop all of these killings of our fellow brothers and sisters in that part of the continent? Now, if you ask me, if the government, if the ANC could ensure that uh, some of these farms are, are monitored, like, you know, they could, they could invest in some equipments, like drones, you know, like, like you know, there's this, there's this sonar thing that, you know, it can beam through the earth and they will see if there's a body there. If this government can do all of these things, then I believe that a whole lot of missing people who were buried some maybe 10, 20, 30, 50 years ago. Of course, I do believe deep in my heart that there are people who disappeared in South Africa that ended up in some of these farms. But then there's the other part of me which thinks that the ANC and the DA, these are people that are they're kind of like the elites in that society. What do I mean by the elites? See, Africans are like uh, the, at the top of echelons, although they are less than 10% of the population. But it seems like these folks, they infiltrated the ANC. The current ANC is no longer the ANC of Nelson Mandela. They infiltrated these folks who turned a blind eye to some of these farmers and what they do on their properties. It's like, you can hire any person and you can discard them and you claim that maybe they stole something. And I don't, I don't know if, the, if, if, if when somebody steals from your farm, you are automatically supposed to, to, to eliminate them. But because we have seen this happen in the past and some of these farmers have not even been given serious jail time, everybody is just, you know, like people, South Africans seem like you guys are numb to murders. That, that is what I can take from all of this because it is on the news and uh, we are not seeing people manifesting. I was thinking that people will go to the farm and protest, but you don't see that happening. And what you guys are protesting on is something which literally could be handled by, you know, the authorities. But this aspect of white farmers or farm owners killing black South Africans up and down, burying their cubs, burning their cubs, and feeding their cubs to some of their wildlife, this is like, I don't even understand exactly what my brothers and sisters in South Africa are thinking about. Do you guys feel that the most important thing is kicking immigrants out of your country than to ensure that none of your fellow brothers and sisters are killed? I will leave this vlog by asking you, what do you think is most important to our brothers and sisters in South Africa? Are they not supposed to be organizing protests? To call out these farmers and to ensure that you know some of these farms are surveyed, man. There should be random. There should be drones. There should be a military task force that is 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 responsible solely for ensuring that whenever somebody is actually reported missing, and they should check these farms because hey, God knows what they will find there. So that is my time, and uh, I'm not going to talk so much. I want you to leave a comment. Let's engage down the comment section. Hey, hey. Listen, I have nothing against my South African brothers and sisters, but we need to understand exactly how you guys see what is most important to you. Be blessed. Peace.